Today, Thomas might be putting a new club in his bag. I've got a 13 and a half degree three wood Maverick that he's got in his bag now. He's got the Apex Utility Wood. He's gonna do some testing, do a comparison, and maybe there will be a switch. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahova, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined today by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. And today we're, it's all about Thomas and the clubs in his bag in particular. So this is the Maverick you've been playing as your three wood the last couple of years, uh, 13 and a half degrees. And that is the utility wood, which I believe Cali released later in 2021. In our initial testing, we noticed that thing was, I mean, it, it hits bombs for what's a kind of a hybrid kind of a wood. And so you're thinking about potentially putting that in the bag instead of a three wood? Yeah, so when we've done initial testing a couple of times now, I have only had the chance to hit the 19 degree UW. Okay. Um, now I have a 17, I had this built for me. Um, the weight is the exact same weight as my fairy wood, 347 grams in total weight. Okay. The swing weight is a little bit different. Um, this I have built to 42 inches in length. This is 43 inches in length. However, the way the club has designed here, this actually came in at a E0 on the swing weight. Well, my current three wood is about D three and a half. So you notice swing weight's a little bit different. However, the total weight is the exact same. Okay. So I'm curious to know if I went a little bit too long with the length. I was a little concerned about a 41 and a half inch, 17 degree UW. Yeah. So I built it at 42 inches. Okay. So it is plus a half in, in length. Um, we can also modify that swing weight. This has got a seven gram screw in it. We could always cut this a little bit shorter if we know sure. the swing weight's affecting it. But I wanted to test it. I want to see how different this is compared to my current three wood. And there's a reason why my current three wood is a Maverick. I mean, that's this face of that's probably two or three generations mm -hmm. older now. Is I suck with three wood, honestly. <laughs> it's the one club in my bag that I absolutely hate. I, it doesn't matter what three wood I hit, I can't hit it. Now, okay. that's probably being a little bit over the top. But probably harsh on yourself. It's a little harsh on myself, but when I do miss it, it I catch it low on the face. You know, as my attack angle with my, sure. with my three wood is a little bit up. And I have a hard time controlling the bull flight with the three wood. Okay. Um, so I don't use it very often. You know, if I hit my driver far enough, I don't need to use it very often. But there are going to be times when I need to go home yep. on a par five and two or play something off the tee where I gotta get it as far as I can, but drive is too much. Mm -hmm. Maybe I've got water across, running across the fairway. Um, so I need it in the bag for sure. So I wanted to play around with this, see how this performs versus my gamer. Okay, so you're kind of looking for almost a little bit more forgiveness and control out of the club versus this 13 and a half degree. So we'll see, I mean, those are kind of some of those numbers that we'll be monitoring in the testing today. Um, how do you see the test playing out? How many shots? Um, and kind of the formatting of the test here so that golfers are, you know, they're, they're in this now. They're in this and right. invested for yeah. you and your success this year, so. Yeah, well, these are the exact same golf shafts. So Graphite mm -hmm. Design, Tor 80, XC, 7X, 43 inches in length with the three wood, 42 inches in length with the, with the UW. Difference is loft, 17 degrees versus yeah. 13 and a half. So loft, in my, in my theory, is loft is your friend. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll do two rounds. We'll maybe we'll start out, do hit five shots with each one, come back and hit five more, and we'll just see what happens to do with the distance, the spin rate, and also consistency. Okay, all right, well, you ready to get started here? Let's do it. Oh boy, that's really far right. Hey, that that's looks a lot like my shot. That's why I don't play this club. <laughs> That was better. That was better. Oh, gross. Interesting. Really I haven't gross. Seen, I haven't seen that trajectory from you in ever, I don't think. <laughs> uh, I have a hard time with this club. I fell a little low on the face. Okay. God, dang. Interesting. Oh, I almost topped that thing. Okay, I gotta put a better swing than that. Might be a little better. There we go. Right. So, these are uh, five swings, and I know the Five are not, very ugly swings. They're not yeah. your best swings. Yep. That's, that is a fact. I wanna take a little hit location as well as we're yeah, hitting let's these just do shots. That right away here. So, here is the average hit location for all of them. And 
It's four we millimeters can, down from, cent, from the and center. And this, I believe, this is your average attack angle, 1.7. I think that's, we've got them all marked now. So 1.7 up is your average attack angle. So that is where hitting low on the face, you know, that's, that, that's the problem is yep. you come up on it. You, it's tough to catch that thing square in the middle. And if anything, it's going to be a little low because of just the way you swing. So, right. Are you seeing the potential for maybe having the shorter, a little bit of a shorter club with more loft, just helping that out a little bit, relieving some of the, um, you know, lost performance that you get from that? Yeah, that's exactly my thought. Is three and a half degrees more loft on a club should help with that, but also having that center of gravity on that UW, we notice it's got that weight, you know, it's, it's pushed forward. Yeah. So that's going to help reduce that spin rate a little bit. Sure. Um, and the swing weight also being a little bit heavier might also help with control too. Yeah. Because yeah. for whatever reason in this session here, you were uh, having a problem kind of squaring, you know, the face up a little bit. And it was weird because I'm used to seeing your club path being, you know, in to out. I mean, with every club, right? Driver, yep. irons, you know, you seem to have a, that draw seems to show up every time. It gets a little bit closer on the longer clubs to yeah. being zero with my with my club. But path. I just I've, but I haven't seen it negative like that for, you know, the longest time with you. And I know there's a couple of times faces wide open, but in general the faces is, is you know three shots where it's pretty square. You got a couple where it's wide open. Yeah. But I really the the club path thing is is what's different for me to to see from you. So um, maybe we'll see how that changes here with the uh, the Apex UW. Well, let's do some shots with it, and hopefully it's better than those yeah. five shots. It's a little different. Okay, well, that's certainly, yeah. Well, I was fighting the, I was really fighting that slice, and I might have overdone a little bit on that one. Yeah. On the face angle, but that's really different. Yeah, I mean, that's a night and day difference from the first few on yeah. the, with your current three wood, so. That is just so much better. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> my God. You just hit that 290 yards. There's so in that, did that feel, I mean, how did that feel at impact? It felt really solid. Yeah. Like it, I, I know I connected the face angle, face to path with 0 0.3, pretty good there, but my club speed was slower than it was with yeah. the three wood. Which is gonna happen, I think. It's, it's shorter. Yeah. Yeah. There's more loft on this golf club, so this, the, generally, the theory is the more loft on the golf club, the more spin, the shorter the ball is going to go. That has well, some, that's clearly, a low spin on the, the that one you connected on there. That's interesting. That is. This is like a five wood length club going to a ninety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a little left. No, not, not really bad. though. I mean. So I a little bit more of a miss on that one. It was a spin. A little bit more on that one, but I mean, it's I'm getting picked. Two really here. straight right. golf shots there. Oh yes! Wow, that is this is essentially a, f a five wood or a four wood technically. I don't know what you know. It's a 17 degree club that's a little shorter than a three wood. So yeah, call it what you will, but that's 294 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. Whew, 290 again. This this exactly what actually, that felt like. This is actually crazy. Yeah. Well, is that got, four or five? That's five. Okay. So, what do you want to look at first here? Do you want to look? I mean, we got we can get at the table for the Let's numbers. Let's take a look, look at the numbers. The yep. numbers. Okay. So we'll go like this. We've got ten shots, five of each. Break them down <laughs> like so. And this is a fascinating difference here. So I was swinging the three wood faster. Yep. So more potential distance when you have more club speed. A little bit more ball speed with the Apex UW, like one mile an hour ball speed. Smash factor was a little bit better. Launch was higher with the club that's got more loft on yeah. it. That makes sense. Um, spin lower. Considerably lower. You know, we're is. talking 900 RPMs. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the distance. I mean, I picked up 20 yards. Plus. That's we're not even talking Crazy. about the dispersion yet, but right. you can see. So one thing I do like about the shorter club is attack angle. So this is something to really touch on for those golfers that, like myself, hit up on the ball a little mm -hmm. bit more of a longer golf club. With a driver, you know, I, you notice I'm five, six degrees up with, with my attack angle with a driver. When the club's a little bit shorter, you're not going to hit up on it as much. Yeah. 
So this is one inch shorter than my okay. three wood, and you'll notice my attacking went down a little bit. It did, yeah. 1.7 to 1.0, and then here's, I did bring up the dispersion map, and you can see, really outside of this one, where you were maybe overcompensating for what was happening with that the That was the first wood. one, and I was yep. slicing that the was your hell out shot. of it with that three wood. And just for fun, we'll take that out. And you can see suddenly how <laughs> small and tight that dispersion gets. Now, we'll solidify this with five more shots at each club, Yeah, uh, but, just wanted to look at that, and your last four shots with that club, this is what it looks like. So, not bad, not bad. All right. Uh, that was a better strike. Some more speed there. Yep. So that's probably more what you're looking for out of this club. It's better. Still was right, but it was better. That was better as well. Oh, no. So that's just so much harder Crazy. to control. Crazy. Because it... I hit that really see, well. those numbers, it seems like your swing numbers are so close to zero that you shouldn't see that much curve. But obviously I'm wrong. I mean, man. Wow. I mean, these are better numbers, but I cannot hit this thing straight. Uh, that's a little low on the face. Seems a little low on the face, yeah. Straight, See, that's straight, but then that spin kind of decreases that distance there. Is that 10 or is that one more? Yeah, one more. Yeah, that's it's crazy. Okay, so one thing that you mentioned kind of in the middle of those swings, Thomas, was lie, well, dynamic lie angle and potentially the stated lie angle. So. Um, wanted to bring up the shots here, and we noticed in the hit location, the Maverick, on average, the dynamic lie is 54.7, and it's 56.1 with the Apex UW. Yeah. So it's more upright because the club's shorter, yeah. and we all know what happens to lie angle is if it's too flat mm -hmm. at impact, you're going to miss it to the right. Yeah. 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 So that's and influence in the direction. So, and we can, you know. And I, look at I hit those last five shots see. better. Yeah, you did. But you'll notice they're still right of center. Yeah, you still had, you had one that went left, and I think it was one that you caught low on the face and had some extra spin and missed out on some distance there. Otherwise, you had, I think most of these, these two here were, were new from that series too. So, but it just, there was a couple, I know that was one of those two where you, you thought you just hit it perfect, right? And yeah. you still saw some extra curve that you didn't really anticipate. Uh, because it, it is a finer line there um, with the three wood to match that all up and hit the straight ball. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you take a look, I mean, I was getting 160 plus ball speed with the, yeah. th with the three wood. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's strong loft is 13 and a half, but I just, yeah. The control, I mean, to control it. Yeah. You, that circle's pretty big. Now, we'll see, we, you've got the UW here, so let's hit five more with that one and really finalize this data here. Yeah. It's crazy. Nothing wrong with that. So that felt a little lower on the face. I mean, but it's not spinning like I was going to say it, it's a much. little lower, but it didn't jump up to 3900 spin like the uh, three wood did on your your last set of shots there when you caught it. Right. That one was open with the face. But it's not like it's like Okay. So it's right. Way, way it's over. right. Yeah. But I'm looking at the dispersion map of everything else, and it's. I mean, that's where that one falls. And you've got some <laughs> misses with the three with that are a little more right than that. So. Yeah. That was hit more solid. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you're hitting this club over 290 yards sometimes. It's a. 17 degree wood slash hybrid. <laughs> Maybe a little miss hit? No. Money right there. Money. <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> so, that's 10 with each. Um, I'm going to bring up the dispersion. And this is all 10 shots, nothing, you know. I know we like to take maybe an outlier out with each, and we can yep. do that here, and I can kind of see two already from each, one from each club. Right, we could probably take the one that's far left out with the UW and the one so that's can, far right with, the, yeah, with yeah. the three wood. We took out, you know, far left shot with the 
UW, and the farthest right one with the Mavericks. So now we've got our dispersion map here. This is the most eye-catching thing to me because pretty clear difference. Um, you got one club that you just can't quite control as much, hence the larger circle of yep. you know nine out of your ten best shots there. The other one you got, I mean, you got the straightest four shots of the day, I think. Well, in terms of the distance that you want, are all the apex UW. Right. So. Yeah. There's there's four orange circles that are very close together, that are very yep. close to the central line, that are very. I mean, really, far you've up got the these four. You've got one just a little. I mean, a hair right of them. This one's not far off either. And then really you've got these three potential, I guess, miss hits that, I mean, sure, you missed them a little bit. That's gonna happen in golf. You're hitting yep. a club 280 yards plus. You're gonna miss a few. But you have six out of your 10 shots here really were absolute money. And I think for the Maverick, you can sit that up for maybe one or two of them. That yeah. they're absolutely money. So let's take a look at, at numbers. And now we're gonna go into the numbers. Okay. So, yeah, so I wanted to look at the difference on, on those nine of mm -hmm. 10 swings. And you can see with the Maverick, 65 feet of curve there to the right. Uh, flying 98 feet in the air, but it's also flying higher because the face, well, because it's curving to the right, right? Yeah. Um, if you take a look, face angle was 0 0.7 degrees more open, but that's not going to probably equate to 55 feet further to the right, right? So. Why is that? It's the lie angle. So yep. we know it's that dynamic lie. 54.6 versus 56.6. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge difference in what I'm able to do with regards to the direction of the ball yeah. flight. That's something I didn't even consider usually. You know, I'm wondering how is, you know, how is your club path very similar, right? Then your face angle is only, you know, it's less than a degree difference, but you're getting that much more curve. The, the lie angle can be a big part of that. So, yeah. especially if you're swinging, you know, faster you swing with a longer club, compared to say an iron, it's going to go further offline if your lie angle is a little bit off. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I was swinging the three wood, one mile an hour faster. Mm -hmm. um, bull speed was a little bit faster there. I mean, I was hitting it good, especially that second. You round, got a couple but, of good swings during that second set. Yeah. But it's it wasn't as good, not even close no. to what we're seeing here. I mean, your, your spin consistency is a wider number, right? Wider range. Your distance numbers are much higher deviation f factor. Um, all across the board, it just seems like the, the, the UW is a better fit for you, really. I mean, it's, right. And so did you, is, is there something in the swing that just you were just more comfortable with? A smaller you know, shaft length, smaller club head that just seemed more inviting to you? It's the length of the club, for sure. Yeah, just the yeah. length? The length of the club. 42 inches versus 43 inches. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this still felt kind of heavy. Yeah. Um, so maybe I can fine tune this a little bit more with regards to swing weight. Um, so this is a seven gram that, come, that came with this. Yeah. If I could get my hand on like a three gram, what that might do is that might get a couple of swing weight points lower. Sure. Um, if I was to gonna go at the standard stock length that comes with the 17 degree, which is 41 and a half inches. As I mentioned, I built this at 42. That would be three points lower there yeah. yet. So I could get this closer to okay. D5 if I really wanted to, as opposed to having it at E0. Yeah. But that there's, def there's definitely something to be said about a little heavier swing weight if you're having a hard time controlling the direction that yes. going. The other point yeah. I wanted to mention too was just loft on fairway woods in general, because I mean, it's been the case for a long time and still is. The, the stock or standard loft for a three wood is 15 degrees and yep. so many players are using one. And even a player as gifted and skilled as yourself, plus whatever handicap, I mean, four or five handicap, whatever it is that you're, that you're dealing with, and you can still struggle with a fairy wood getting off the ground a little bit just because of the way you're attacking. Right. That's and I, where, you know, we can, we've been recommending the last couple of years, heavily now I know in the fitting bays is maybe don't have a three wood in your bag. Maybe it's a five wood or maybe it's a Apex UW at 17 degrees. That's a better fit for you as that kind of next club behind your driver. Yeah, and I went with the 13 and a half as mm -hmm. opposed to a 14 and a half or 15 degree three wood um, because when I do hit a 15 degree three wood, I spin the ball like crazy right. with it off the ground. And you saw that a couple times here. Yeah. I mean, I mean you see, I'm spinning at 500 that. RPMs more with the three wood versus the. And versus so the if that was at 15 degrees, yeah. you'd be. Way it's going to be 3,700, so, yeah. and I lose a little bit more. So, but this club, too. for whatever reason, I think maybe it's because that center of gravity is a little more forward, compact shape doesn't uh, lift that thing as high in the air, and that way it's able to control that flight a little bit for you and that spin. 
so it's not kind of getting lost in the in the wind, we'll say. Right. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be my replacement for okay. wood. So we've yeah. got it. We've got uh, a replacement yep. club. We got an update this for is, Thomas. This is, is in the bag. a new club that's never going to leave the bag right now. Um, it's better. No. Is it perfect? No, because I've always had I, I get used to it, and I've always had a hard time hitting a club mm -hmm. off the ground, longer club off the ground. But just looking at those five, six, seven orange circles that were nice and straight. Yeah. Compared to everything being kind of way over there to the right with the with I mean, my it's, current gamer, it's a, it's a night and day difference, really. Yeah. So yeah. it's good. I mean, way it's, better. It's it's good to see that there is something out there for you that because, as we always say, every for for how many golfers there are, there's that many different swings, and so the fact that there's all this equipment out there to offer a, a solution for you in this predicament is is great to see from Callaway here with the Apex UW, and I think, I mean, it's already been an awesome hit for so many players, so. Uh, and no surprise there, and I know it's been gotten really good feedback from some of their tour pros already that already have it in the bag. So, big win, and it's, uh, I know a, lot, a big confidence booster for you to find a club for that slot in your bag. Right, it just felt easier to hit off the turf, and that's what I need out of a Fury Wood.